us do our random event roll. I think, did I do the last one? Was that me? I believe you did. Yeah, okay. it's my turn. All right. Okay, here, T dice. Here we go. Five, Five is no, no effect. effect chain. Right. Give us our leader transfers. Um, I'm going to do quite a few this time. I'm going to transfer Franklin Slocum. He's going to go up to Couch. I'll transfer McClellan. He's going to go join Franklin. That's it for my leader transfers. Okay. The big one being Franklin moving to Slocum. Okay. For me, I don't think there's anything worth moving. So everyone's going to stay where they are. Uh, let's see, do I want to move Lee? That's always the variable. He will stay where he is. Uh, so I will give us our first initiative, turn six, and it is mine. All right. The possibilities are endless now. So Ransom will march. Increase his fatigue. Here's his movement. It's five. So he'll go one, two, three... Four and five uh, initiative. And uh, as always, the three eighth Pennsylvania does have an option if you wish to exercise it. Before I roll, uh, he'll, he'll he'll stay there. Okay. All right, initiative. It's mine again. I better make the attempt. Uh, Holmes will march to fatigue level two. Here's his movement. It's a four. Okay. Um, so he will make an, a prepared attack on Peck. So it's just going to be, I think, plus one prepared. Ratios covered. We'll have a roll for your artillery, and then a plus three for final flank. And here's the artillery roll. He's used, okay. So we got four up and one down. So here's a yes. All right, here's a plus three attempt. Yeah, come on. And it is a plus three. True result. And and it the the swamp came off. That's what I think. That's right. Yes, I got it for uh, four and then against. It's an eleven, and you got a plus three result on an eleven. It is a one dr for me. But I believe there's going to be some retreat losses taking place. Yes, in the 1632, yes. And he's going to lose one manpower for retreating to 1633. He's got to go that direction. Right, so I will take... Two manpower losses on that attack. Oh, i got to give him another fatigue. But it's just a little R result. He has to retreat one more hex. Oh yeah, he's just going to go there. Alright, we will not pursue that. Um, just stay there. Initiative. It's mine again. Um, Ransom will go to fatigue level 2. And he'll march. And he just gets a, a minimum 2. So he's the 2. What would the 3 8 Pennsylvania like to do? Now he's got a cab retreat. Just roll. Six. That's good. Let's see. Now his options for treating is he has to go away, so that's one there. Mm -hmm. And he will not take any manpower losses during yeah. that, so he can go to 2032. Yeah. Three. Four. I think that's just three right there. Yeah, that's four here. Okay. I guess I'll stop him there. Okay, and I think... Yeah. Minus two on that. It was, yeah. So um, I can always move one since I have not moved any, so I will just move into 1831. Uh, initiative. Okay. It's yours. Four. Well, that changed what I was going to try to do drastically. OK, 
Okay, Keys is going to activate Couch in the Artillery Reserve 2. Here's their movement. Five. Artillery Reserve 2 is going to go one, two. Keys is just going to go to there. Oh, I couldn't do that. I only could activate one unit, sorry. So reserve two has to stay there and I'll move keys to their couch. Initiative. George again. Take ransom to three. And here's his march. To six. Here's his extended. It's okay. I'll go there. Initiative. Yours. Hmm, with a one unit, one stinking lousy unit. We'll activate the uh, pack, take him to fatigue four. Here's his movement. So one, here's his extended march. Five. One man power one loss. One man power loss, yeah. yep. You can only move one hex. Move him up to there. Uh, initiative. Mine with a six. I'm going to attempt the core assault with Couch against Holmes. Here's his attempt. Four. Keys is a four, so it does come off. So this is a type for plus one. Tactical is plus one. Ratio is covered. Artillery is a plus two. So that's covered. And the flank is a plus two because I have five hexes covered. Yes, you do. So the final is a plus four. So here we go, plus four. Nice and done. Nine to three is a plus six. Plus six on poor Holmes. All right. Eleven is a two DR. Scrapping back. Anything to you? You're eleven as well. Were you 13? Um, you're advanced, uh, okay. Uh, an A in advance if I choose to. You must go that way first. And two, three, four, five. Uh, not that far. They will advance into the hex. Initiative. Fine with a six. I can do as many as I would like. Activate artillery reserve two keys. Is there movement? Five. Begging for trouble. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. Okay. Jackson will activate whiting. He'll go to two. Here's his march. Minimum two. It's four. Extended march. He's going to lose a manpower. Just do that, I think. Initiative. That's mine. Let's go bold. This is uh, probably pretty stupid, but we'll give it a shot. D.H. Hill will attempt an assault on Porter using Rhodes and the artillery reserve. Uh, here is their attempt. And it does not come off. So initiative. It's mine again. Let's try that again. There's the attempt. It does come off this time. You will now send to Lee a request for a grand assault. And Lee says, you can bring in one additional hex. So, um, so we'll bring in Garland from next door. So that would be 23, and you've got 44 in there, I believe. Yes. Okay, so I've, I've got one to two. So I will do that. I'll bring in Garland. And let's see. So let's do the numbers here. Plus one assault. Plus one tactical. Plus one Lee bonus. He's got to show off for Lee. Plus one final flank. Minus one for ratio. One to two. Nine pieces of artillery to your... Sixteen. Sixteen. 
So, so it's a minus seven in rough, and that is a minus one. Okay. So two, four, four up, two down. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Plus two. Oh, it's a minus Ooh. one. Minus one indeed. So minus one on twenty-three. It's two D. How many? I've got twenty-three. So I lose. I had forty-four. Two. So you take a one F. So one F. Yeah. All right. So two for me. One for you. Initiative. It's mine again. Dr. Jones will march. Increases fatigue. He can move one hex, and he'll move one hex. All right. Initiative. It is yours with as many as you like. Okay. I'll activate couch with keys again. His movement. Five. Here's his extended march. Two, so he's okay. He's gonna go one, two, three. Initiative, mine. Uh, Keys is gonna attempt assault on Ransom. Gonna attempt it with both the artillery reserve, two, and couch. It's the attempt. To two and it actually comes off. Well, the type's going to be a plus one. Tactical is going to be a plus one. Uh, ratio is a plus one. My artillery is I have ten to one is a plus nine. On um, rough terrain is a die roll for me if I get to use it. And I do. So artillery is another plus one. The flank I have. This looks like a plus two. Yep. Flank, flank is a plus two. So the final is plus six. All right. Here we go. Erasmus, plus six. Erasmus is a big day. Yeah. Wow. I almost. He almost. <laughs> so plus seven plus result. Plus seven. On seven. Uh, seven. So two DR. Two DR. Chipping away. I'm now at 20. Okay, and he's got to go here first, and then two. What a loss on that. Three, four. Okay. Didn't lose anybody, and I'm going to stay where I'm at. Uh, initiative. Mine with a two. I'm going to activate Sedgwick. Here's his movement. Four. I'm gonna go one to here. What would Stuart like to do? I've got three remaining. I think we will do a big old cav withdrawal. So they will all flip. Yeah, plus four to this roll. So here we go. Plus four. Oh. Oh wow. So I lose one. Delete the third Virginia. Uh, I will take manpower loss. And you will lose two. Two and a half. So it becomes a two. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five to there. One more movement point remaining. I'll go to there. Uh, initiative. Yours. Long Street will activate R.H. Anderson. Increases fatigue. Here's his march. He gets a six. So he'll just go there. Initiative. R.H. Anderson again. Here's his movement. He'll just go there. Initiative. Long Street's going to attempt an assault on Heinzelman with both of the units, the artillery and picket. Uh, here is the attempt. It goes off. Uh, 
we will see if we can get lightning in the bottle a second time with Lee. We'll send for a... Uh, let's see, well, I'm at 13 and you're... Wow. You're a 35. Yeah, so I got to bring in... Okay, so here's the Grand Assault attempt. And uh, it fails. All right. That is okay. Pick it, as history is wont to say. Goes in alone, running across that field. So we get plus one assault. Plus one tactical. Um, it is 13 to, what did I say, you have 35? So yeah. it's more than two to one to two. It's so it's uh, one to three. So it's a minus two. So yeah, I think so. Yeah. So minus two for ratio. Um, artillery, you've got eight, eleven, and I've got five, seven. So I've got minus four in rough. Uh, so that's going to be a minus one, straight up. Um, and then I get a plus four final flank. So six up, three down. Is that what you see? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For our final of plus yes. three. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Pickett's charge! Charge! And it's a plus one. Plus one. So. 35. And I'm at a 13, so 1D for me. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so. And two. I lose two manpower. I'll take one off of each hooker and Curry. Curry. Um, I'll take them from there. So, one, two. And power loss flip. And flip. Okay. Um, you do have the option for a voluntary retreat if you'd like to exercise. No, we'll, we'll stay where we are, I think. Okay. So you got. Alright. 2D. Alright, initiative. It's yours with one. And activate Stoneman. Here's his movement. Three. You go one, two, three. Initiative. Yours. I was wondering if you were going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sneaky flanks. Um, I think. Um... Jackson will activate Yule. There's his March plus one. It's three. He's going to transfer to Yule. Go one, two, three. Initiative. That's mine. Jackson and Yule again. There's the movement. It's four. One, two, Three. Initiative. Yours. And activate uh, horse artillery. They're just going to put a flanks or fuse by doing extended march first. Three plus two, so they're actually okay. I'm going to put a flanks or fuse marker. Initiative. It's yours. I believe I will pass. Activate Stoneman, take him to fatigue two. Here's his movement. It's a six. Gonna go there. Initiative. Final with a five. And we're gonna attempt a core assault with Hooker and Carney against R. H. Anderson. So they're gonna go to fatigue four. Here's the attempt. It's a three minus a four, so only one can come in. So we'll bring in Hooker. So this is a type of plus one. Tactical plus one. Uh, I do cover the ratio, 11 to 10. Artillery is a plus two, so that's covered. 
on the final flank, I have all six hexes covered for a flank of plus four. You do indeed. So the final I have is uh, six up and none down for a plus six. That's a pretty darn good attack. Okay, let's see if we can pull it off. Plus six. Oh, boy howdy. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. So plus, <laughs> so plus 10 is the cap. Uh, I'm at 10. So 5 DR. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that that will teach me not to pass when I should be throwing up refuse flanks. Best attack yet. Well done. Um, that was really incredibly oversighted of me for to leave Stoneman like that. I, I really should have attacked with Jackson when I had the chance, but I didn't. So, um, so five dr. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So right now it is. 44 to 27. So, um, so they've got to go here. They've got an escape route. Uh, they have to go out of yours. So that means they have to go there. And then three, and four. And I think what we'll do is, yeah, we'll leave them there. Okay. Good job. I won't move my units, they'll stay put. Uh, initiative. It's yours. There's what I needed. It's <laughs> just one too late. All right. Yep. That's always the way. Let's see if we can't make that back up. Mm, mm, mm. Let's uh, take Yule to th three. Here's his march. Plus one. It's a six. Extended march. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. It's mine. Jackson will make an attempt on Peck. Increases fatigue. Here's the attempt. Comes off. So it looks like uh, plus one assault, plus two tacticals. Uh, ratio is 2 to 1, so that's 4, and then a die roll for your artillery. Uh, so, 4 up, 1 down, plus 3. Plus 3. Alright, here goes. It's plus 3. 3 result. DR. Hmm. And for me, at 11 is an FA. So Jackson oh, is no dead. real effect on him. Follow the road. One, two. He could go two more. Okay, we'll take him two more. Three, four. We will go into that hex. All right. Initiative. Mine. Thirty-second North Carolina. Delete entrenchments. Here's their movement. That's a two. So we will just do a minimum to there. Initiative. Yours. We'll activate the 6th Pennsylvania. Here's their movement. 9. Gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, 560 US. 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Initiative. Mine again. I can activate the wagon B. Here's his movement. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Mine. Do wagon B again. This is his movement. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. Initiative. It's yours. Gonna pass. Okay. An A. Here's its movement. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Initiative. Fine. Wagon A again. 
four. One, two, three, four. Initiative. It's mine again. If I remember correctly, you get points if they flip. You do. If they suffer a uh, D in extended march. Yep. So we aren't going to move them again. The 6th U.S. Pennsylvania. Get 9. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3. Well, he's going to stop right there. Okay. Uh, initiative. Yours. Stuart will activate the cavalry to two. Here's their movement plus two. It's eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Initiative. It's yours. Activate uh, Kimball. This is movement. One. It's going to go one to there. Yours. Stuart will attempt an assault on Wagon A's hex. A. A. Where, where the five, six is. Okay. So you've got three and I've got one and a half. So I'm going to try to bring in both units. So they'll go to that. Here's their attempt. Uh, and both of them do come in. Yep. So it's a plus one assault, minus one ratio. And plus two tactical. Yep. Okay, so plus two. All right, Stuart. Let's have some fat back for dinner. Plus two. And it is a plus three. Plus three. Just on a three is a... Just a DR, I think, right? DR, but Oops. that's enough for you to get some points. Yeah, for each hex. So... At minimum two. I'll mark that on the handy dandy spreadsheet here. Uh, let's see. Just try oh. it. two hexes. I'm just gonna retreat two hexes. Right up the road. So that only the D only counts on extended marches, I think. And it's just Oh, okay. Um and Fifth. then it's just the hexes, so two hexes, so I added two to the spreadsheet there. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. Uh, well, might as well make an attempt on Wagon B and see what happens. Alright, so they'll take both of those to, to fatigue four. Here's their attempt. And it works. And now it's uh, just a minus one and a plus three, so another plus two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's plus two. Uh, this one does not work. Oh. It's a minus one for old Jeb. So it's just a D. It's okay. They're at fatigue. They're already there. So, and just two Fs for you. Four. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. I'm gonna pass. Let me chase you away if you'll be chased. Increase Kimball to T2. Here's his movement. It's a 4. What would Stuart and his cab forces like to do? He might just stand there. He, uh... He might just... He may hap. Um, I'm in the woods. I'm at 1.5, so you've only got 2 to 1. Oh, you got 3 to 1 on me. Uh... It's a minus one on that. So plus two, minus one, plus two. Yeah, I'll stand. I'll make you earn it. Let's see. So I'm going to do a prepared attack. So the type's a plus one. A tactical is a minus one. And it's five to 
one and a half would be a plus two uh -huh. ratio. So it's three up and one down for final plus two. There you go. Okay, plus two. So we're going to drive you out of there. This make you work a little harder. So plus three. Plus three result, which at least gets you out of there. But I don't think it causes any manpower losses. No. So we'll just go... Pick up a fatigue. One, two. Yeah, didn't really accomplish that much. We'll move Kimball into that hex, though. Initiative. It's mine with a six. Activate uh, Seymour's brigade. Here's his movement. I'm going to go one, two. Initiative. Yours. I think I'm going to pass. Call. This is movement. One. Pull one to there. Initiative. Yours. Pass again. Activate McCall again. This is movement. It's a six. One, two, three. Ours, he's going to go. Initiative. It's yours. Pass. I will pass as well. End of day six. Uh, recovering in the sunshine. Go ahead. Do you have any more reinforcements to roll? Yep. I have a reinforcement roll. Oh, I get another reinforcement. <laughs> uh, man! Let's see. Which one do I get this time? Is it Tyler? I think they're all the same. I don't think it really matters. But Yes. Tyler's the next on the yep, stack. The next one. Yep. So just drag him over. Mm -hmm. We are at turn number seven. Turn seven. Uh, this is for all the marbles, and I, I gotta tell you, I don't. <laughs> I'm I'm looking back on this now, thinking, well, mistakes were made, and I'm gonna need a yeah. little, just a teensy bit bit of help here. And if it rains, then I I think it's you know, if it rains, it's over. Um, because I I don't know that I can. I can salvage things, but I have got pulled up here your spreadsheet, um, and I'm just looking at things. the The big X factor is those Union divisions, uh, and you've got five of them within five to six. And the ugly one, you've got that stack under Franklin there, Porter. Uh, Porter, that's right, Porter, yeah. uh, within four to uh, three to four. So even if I move them a little bit, that only converts it from like negative nine, 18 to, to negative 9 or something. You know, it just it slips them down into the other column. So it would seem the the bigger gamble is just shutting down that uh, that supply line somehow. But that's that's a lot of moving parts, boy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do there. And um, yeah, and and I realize the the big goof. Uh, you and I talked about this offline, but uh, AP Hill is a is a wasted resource up there. I I should have, I was cautious in that I should have moved him across the bridge and then blown him up, but I was afraid if I had his back to the river and you came up and thumped him, then the manpower losses would be incredible. So um, and of course the bigger oops was. I passed at the end of turn six, and I did not move those cavalry, which, again, wasted resources. I've left chips on the table, and I hate that. But, hey, got it. you got to learn from your mistakes, right? Well, I've made plenty in this uh, scenario, so I may have made a crucial one by not... My wagon A is sort of hanging out there with Jackson. <laughs> 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 Ugh. Uh, I saw that, I was like, why did I not move somebody down there to uh, help him? <laughs> well, I mean, to, to, well, yeah. To be fair, I mean Sedgwick and, and Keys, I think were were previously occupied. I know Couch was at least because uh, I see him at FT level one. So yeah, he Couch and Peck, was... he and Peck were obviously you know uh, fatigued out. But um, yeah, I got mean those, got those brigades down there. There, yeah. <laughs> the whole point of me changing my base was I knew I needed makeup for that. Right. <laughs> my God. 44 manpower losses. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, you, in, in in hindsight, you and I each also had one incredible stroke of good fortune in combat that uh, I mine was to... Uh, I got the first one by pushing Porter through, I think it was... Uh, 
Uh, oh, Winder, yeah. Winder, yeah. Or Garland, Garland. Garland yeah, Winder, Garland, yeah, pushing it through there, and, and you lost two on top, and then six more. So I got eight, and then you got the big one with five by that incredible flanking attack on Anderson, uh, which he's still down there smarting uh, at D2, so his job is just rear guard at this point. Um, so, yeah, I mean, when we when we go back and look at this as a whole, in toto, uh, I think we, we've all, we've both had some really good combat uh so there that's bringing everything in balance so when we just look at the manpower losses yeah i mean it's definitely my favor but it's not helping me as much as i'd like because i'm still in the hole yeah uh, I, I think you got some opportunities i think well um, initiative's going to be critical rain is going to be critical so rain, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah i'm definitely wanting rain yeah i know you are <laughs> and, and, my... and and one thing i should uh point out and i don't i don't know if we did it right or wrong last time but uh today is july 1st so that is a different location on the random events so uh i don't know if i know we had rain on the last one last game so uh i'll be more cognizant this time uh i'm pointing that out now of course and everybody's going back and watching that video um so we will see. Um, but uh, if you would like to do the honors to get us underway, I've I've got it. Uh, I've got the random event chart pulled up, and and as your dice go, so goes the final turn. Two dice for rain or not? It's a seven. Seven. There is no rain. No effect. Okay. All right. Um, then I will let you look over the board and see if you want to make any leader transfers. Yeah, I'm going to move Sumner. I think he is just barely within range of Sedgwick. Oh, wow. Okay. I think that's going to be the only guy I'm going to move. I, I might need McClellan down there, but I might need McClellan up where he is. So. Right. Okay. I'll leave uh, McClellan. That's, that's the only move I'm going to make. Okay. I'm going to move. Uh, I think I will leave Jackson at Yule just for mobility's sake. Um, I'm actually going to move Lee down to Magruder. And um, we'll see how that goes. That is that is all for my movements. Uh, let's see. Stuart is with his cavalry. So, all right. Well, I will roll our first initiative for the final turn. Here we go. And it is mine. Okay. Prudence demands that the foot cavalry attempts to try to intercede with that wagon. So we're going to do... Uh, Yule 2, here is Jackson's March, plus 1, and that's 4. So he will go 1, 2, and 3, and you have an opportunity for a Cav withdrawal there? Uh, he is going to stand. Okay. So, you're at 1 and a half. Do you need to do a... Uh, an extended march, so let's see how that goes. Uh, and that extended march is okay. So I have one left. Well, I guess I've got to try. So let's do that. Um, got a, I got a fresh sheet of paper out here. So we're going to do uh, a hasty attack with that last one. So that's minus one for hasty. It is a uh, plus four for tactical. Uh, it is a minus one for the creek. Uh, it is 11 to one and a half, so... 7.33 is the <laughs> So, it's seven. Okay, so seven to one. So, uh, <laughs> plus six. All right. Thanks, math man. <laughs> I had a calculator. Ah, oh, yeah, that's... I, I was... said, I was looking at this, <laughs> when I looked at this earlier today, I was like, oh my gosh, this could be bad right here. Here's, here's a six to possibly nine yeah. points that I'm throwing away. Is. Well, okay, so base change, it is... Okay, so if I destroy the wagon, that's plus 10. Okay. All and right. You, well, you, you've already gotten four points off those wagons, so the most you can get additionally now is six. Oh, that's right, because... That's right. So no matter what, if, get, if the... Well, the, the manpower loss is counted separately, right? So I yeah, got... the manpower losses, so you get those. If you, that's you wipe right. them out, you get the plus two, plus the one cav. right. Right, so right. You get okay. a potential plus nine here. Okay. All right. Course, well, you know. Yeah, you gotta try. Uh, uh, 
plus, plus <laughs> ten. So I got uh, a ten up and two down for a plus eight. Plus eight, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, plus eight. And it is a uh, oh. plus ten. So uh, that's uh, three DR. Three DR. Yeah, so it wipe them work. out. Wipe them out. Okay. I should have maybe tried a cav retreat, I guess. All right. So three more manpower one, plus six. Two, three. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and move the uh, the VP thing to ten just for having wiped that out. Um, Okay. So, no harm, no foul. Plus on. two. So just like that. Right. Um, okay. So uh, we will do initiative then. It's mine again. All right. Um, nothing happened to you, right? <laughs> nothing happened, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, uh, okay. You cut that supply line as well. I still have supply line running through you do, you do. the woods to the east of Stewart there. Right. So I need to do something about that. So I'm going to activate Ransom. Uh, take him to fatigue level 2. Here's his movement of minimum 2. I think it's a 6. Um, and then here's his extended march. Uh, wow, he loses the manpower. Okay. So he loses manpower. Okay, it did not affect him. Um, he's going to go th three to there. And you have two options. We're going to, they're both going to stand. Okay. All right, so uh, it makes sense then to attack one of them at the very least. So I will, uh, so I have three left, so I'll make a normal attack on the sixth Pennsylvania. It will be plus, five plus two tactical, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then plus two for three to one. Yeah. So just plus four. Uh, so here's plus four. Uh, and it's plus three. Small store is yours. <laughs> um, question is, do I want small store? Let's see. Let's look at the road network here. Um, I think, because Sumner obviously is going to come out to play. Um, I guess staying there, you block the, uh, block that one, but I don't block the, the wilderness road there. So, um, I think I, I think I will stay there. Um, yeah. And I got two fatigues. All right. Um, so next initiative, that's mine again. Let's uh, activate Stuart and the Cavalry. And here's their march. It's six, so they'll go. Um, we'll do the uh, extended marches individually. So the Cavalry first. Here's their extended. They're okay. And they're going to go one, two, three, four. Five and six, and then Fifth Virginia. He's okay, and he'll join him there. Okay. Uh, initiative. Mine again. Um, Thirty second North Carolina. Here's their movement. Four. So they go. One, two, three, four. Initiative. 32nd again. March. It's two. We'll just go to there. Uh, initiative. Wow. Jeez. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, you're going to. This is my plan. Is you're yeah, going to so yeah. tired. <laughs> this is, this is rope a dope right here. Yeah. Um, all right. I'll move um, R.H. Anderson. To fatigue level two. And here's his movement. It's a minimum of two. Um, here's his extended march. He's okay. He'll go 
one, two. Initiative. Wang. Something <sighs> assault on Peck. You know what? I'll uh, I'll just activate Holmes. And bring him down. You know, fatigue level two. Here's his march. It's four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Initiative. Holmes again. There's the movement. Four. Uh, extend march. He flips. Or he loses a, a manpower. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, initiative. Mine. Jeez. All right. Yeah, uh, if you pass, I'm going to pass just so I win by one point. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, okay. We're going to uh, move the second Virginia. Increase their fatigue. Here's their coming out of their entrenchments. That is a really good point, Roger. I cannot pass here. Um, <laughs> impress your luck! Okay. Oh, no okay. whammies! <laughs> Alright, uh, I got a five, so they're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Initiative. There it is! There's yours with as many as you like! Yeah. Activate Stoneman. Good old Stoneman. His movement. Six. Uh, that doesn't bode well. Five. To there. Initiative. Ease will activate the uh, couch. His movement. So four. Extended march. Three. So he's okay. Keys and couch are going to go one. Two. Um, Cap Keys is going to make a. He has three remaining, so he has to make a normal attack on Holmes. No type. Tactical is a plus one. The ratio is 17 to 5. 3 to 1, so it's plus 2 for ratio. And I have uh, 5 hexes covered, so the flank is a plus 2. Let's see, the artillery is 2 to 2. 4 to 2 is plus 2, so artillery is covered. So the final is 5 up, no down for a final of plus 5. Okay. Alright, so that's plus 6 result. Six result. And I've got five there, so that's a two DR for me. Advance for me. Nicely done. Keys has been clutch in this. Yeah, and he's the MVP if I can somehow pull the size. Right there. And we lose Only two. Was that one DR or two, two DR. DR. Yeah, it was two. Two DR. So okay. In that game. Driving you back into Malvern Hill. It, it, yes, that is the only uh, the only downside for you is uh, let me demoralize him one. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. Um, okay, and he will stop there. See. You know what? Keys will move into that hex. Initiative. It's yours. Right. So I'm going to increase the 32nd North Carolina by one, and they're going to just march to there with an extended march, and they're going to flip, but we got them there at that lock location, which is, that covers everything all the way around. Okay, just in case. All right, so initiative. <laughs> That's mine. I will, uh, Move the second Virginia cavalry again to two. Here's their march. It's an, a nine, so they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Initiative. Get the fourth Virginia cavalry moving. Here's their march. It's 
and nine as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Initiative. Line, Fourth Virginia again. Movement is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Initiative. Mine, I'm going to pass. I do have a gunboat. You Change. do have a gunboat. I think I can do that gunboat without any. Uh, against Holmes, yeah. Without any, I can just say I want to fire some guns. Yes, because you do that as a as a precursor to your actual action. Once per turn, so if I do it this turn, I'll have one shot. This is one shot. Okay. Rolls a die. It's a one, three or less. The Mabarat has no effect on the target hex. Okay. Uh, there are some modifiers. Plus two if it's clear. It's not clear. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it clear. is clear. Yeah. So it's plus three. Uh, that's it. Oh, so just one to three is no effect. One to three is no effect. <laughs> I forgot completely about that when Holmes <laughs> like just trudging down to the river. So um, okay. Now I think I proceed as normal. Yes. Let me activate Kimball. His movement. So one initiative. Chores. Let's see that one six on the initiative. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Kimball again. His movement. The one. His extended march. Okay. It's gonna go to the barn. Initiative. It's yours. I I hate I hate having this choice, but I gotta do it, so um We'll activate Yule to three, and Jackson will attempt an assault on Kimball. Force my hand, sir. Uh, so here is the assault attempt, and it comes off. All right, so plus one assault, uh, plus three tactical, uh, plus one ratio, minus one creek. And there's no artillery. Uh, so I've got... A peck is covered because of the major river. Jackson, 1501. So those three. Stuart controls those two. And then I lose one from the peck hex. So it looks like I got a plus one flank. If you see what I see. I guess the six is it sixteen oh the slave quarters. Um, it's connected to Stuart, so it has to be connected to uh, units that are uh, friendly to the attacker. So they don't it won't come off. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's a plus one final flag. Plus one flag. So it's a plus five final. Um, yes, plus five. Uh, let's see, five up and one down for the creek. So plus four. Four. Got the creek, yeah. Yep. Okay. So plus four. Here we go. Oh, damn. So it is a plus two. Get Kimball out of there. Force him back. But for me, that's probably not great. Uh, it's a, I lose a manpower on it, and I get a disorganize. Two axes. One. Getting out of the way, two to there. Okay. Um, and I will, I will advance into the barn. Take that hex. All right. So I lose. Uh, I am at now a nice round, thirty manpower losses. So you're forty-seven. So that that not that gap is narrowing. Um. No. <laughs> Initiative. It is mine. I will pass. Tyler. His movement. Five. So one, two, three, four. 
Initiative. It's mine. Summoner will activate Sedgwick. One. Initiative. Oh, no, not that way. He can't go that way. There's no road. Oh! Show. You can always move one. Back. Hands. You can go there. Oh, I see. You want to you wanna bridge the road. Gotcha. Right, of course. Well, just doesn't matter. Six one after the other. Um, initiative. Mine. Sedgwick again. Sumner. Movement. A two. Um, one, two, initiative, mine. Uh-oh. Going to attempt a assault with Sumner. The attempt. It's a five. It does not come off. Initiative. Chores. Uh, we'll activate R.H. Anderson. Here's his movement to two. Uh, here's his extended march to four. He's okay. We'll go to Malvern Hill and throw up a flanks refused. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. I'll pass. Um, this is going to be a little weird, um, but instead of I'm going to activate Sedgwick for marching. Sure. Um, because no matter what I roll, I'll be able to attack, but I'll have to do an extended march. For the core assault, I've got a pretty good chance of him not sure, yeah. going at all. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it for marching. So here's his march roll. Five. Here's his extended march, which is a plus two. He's okay. That worked out as well as I could have hoped. Mm -hmm. I'll attack on Jackson and Ewell. So the type is a plus one. Tactical is a minus one. The ratio is 14 to 7, so it's plus one for ratio. Artillery is 4 to 2 on rough terrain. is plus two, so there is no artillery. Uh, the final, the flank, is... I think it's a plus... Two? The one with Stewart will definitely come off because I'm in it. Um, and then the other one is uh, Peck. Uh, that river is going to is gonna. Uh, oh, come the river off. comes off. Right. And the slave quarters comes in because it's my unit that it has the road. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, yeah, that's a plus two. So the final flank is a plus two. So it's uh, finals a plus three. All right. Three. Was three. Three, just enough of a result. Yeah, so it, either way I'm going to lose one, because if I use the first four and I go into 1602, I'm going to lose one because that's your Zoc. If I use the second four, and, I, and I'm and i not farther away, but I go into Stuart, um, then I use the number to the left, because it's into a friendly occupied hex. So it's one either way. Um, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into there. I'm going to give you a, a manpower loss, uh, which I think I'm already... What was I going to get on seven anyway? Was it one? At three? Uh, yes. So I'm going to give you two manpower losses then, and I'm going to go into 1702. So two more manpower losses. I'm hemorrhaging now. Um, um. And I had a band power loss as well. Okay, so uh, we lose one, two. And for the moment, you have reestablished re your supply line. And you had one. Okay, so net one towards you. Would you like to advance into that hex? The only saving grace is that Sumner is done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took to move, what, two hexes? Right. Took yeah. four fatigues to like that to happen. Yeah. Um, so. yeah, I'll move into the barn, I think. Okay, initiative. Mine with a five. Let's see, we've established that AP Hill can't build a bridge, right? So he's Correct. on that yeah, side. Yeah. We'll take Seymour fatigue one. It's his movement. It's five.
three, four, five, initiative. It's mine. More again. One, two, three, four. What would Stuart like to do? One movement point left. He'll stand. Initiative. Yours. So you have reestablished your supply line. I think we're agreed on that. Yeah, I don't think restricted Zoc doesn't. No, so I have to move Stuart then potentially. Um, all right, we got to do it. <laughs> this is this is where the wheels come off the wagon, but we'll try it. Uh, Longstreet is going to attempt an assault on Heinzelman. Increases fatigue. Uh, he's going to activate the artillery as well. So we have got to do a command roll. Here it is. And it comes off. So we got a plus one assault, plus one tactical, plus one because you got the flanks removed, mm -hmm. refused on there. And then I've got eight to your 22, which is like eight to 24. So that's one to three, which is a minus two. And I've got seven pieces of artillery to... How many have you got? Uh, you've got 11, so minus four on rough is uh, minus one. So, so it looks like it's an even... Oh, this is yeah, three up, three down. Yep, so minus one, okay. So here we go, plus zero. And it is a minus one. It's two fatigues. Uh, and it gives you a fatigue. Okay, so it looks like minus one on eight. It's one, so it's one and one. So no harm, no foul. And it gives you a couple of fatigues. But John's, I mean, Longstreet's done for the day. All right, so one for me, one for you. Initiative, you. it's yours, as many as you like. I'm going to pass. Okay, activate the 4th Virginia Cavalry. Here's their march. It is 11, and here's their extended march. Ah, you flip. Can't have one without the other. All right, so they're going to go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Initiative. Yours again. Activate the uh, pack movement. Five extended march. Five seamant of T two. He's actually okay. Well, he's a plus one, right? So he's a, it is a oh. six. Yeah. Oh, six. Yeah, he's going to have to lose a manpower. Just going to make a min move to there. Give. It's yours. I'll move the second Virginia. Here's their march. It's an eight. Here's their extended. Okay. Go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Initiative. It's mine again. Hoosier will march. And here's his march. It's one, so he will just slide to there. Initiative. Yours. Oh, I'm just going to pass. I, <laughs> I don't think I should I just <laughs> let, you, make, let you make your attempts here and then That's right. That's right. react to it, depending That's on right. what, what um, turns up. Hoosier will go to two. Here's his march. <laughs> He's slow, but he means well. He'll go to there. Initiative. <sighs> of course. Yours. Okay. Um, Heinzelman will make an attempt at assault on Hoosier with uh, Hooker and Carney. The attempt does not come off. Initiative. It's yours. Jer will go to three. Here's his movement. Five this time. Of course, not helpful. Uh, 
he is going to do an extended march and flip, and he'll move to there. Initiative. It's mine again. Who's your own? Go to four. Uh, here's his march. Five, extended march plus one. He's okay. So he'll go uh, one, two, into the woods there. Control all those roads around. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. I think I have your supply cut there at that point. Uh, yeah, everybody but uh, Heinzelman and McCall are now in supply. Or they're still in supply, but you've cut off Porter, Richardson, and uh, Franklin. Okay. Slocum. So I will pass. Okay. Take the artillery reserve. One, two, three, four. Initiative. It's mine. Keys will activate couch. Movement. Six. Extended march. Five. He went T. That's going to be a plus. Plus two, I think. Two. A 17 is a 7. He's just going to flip. Oh, he's just going to flip. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the reserve at 2. That doesn't... They can't get there. Initiative. Mine. Peel McCall off my line here. It's movement. One. One. Initiative. Yours. We'll activate McClaws. Here's his movement. It's three. So he'll go there. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, McClaws again. Here's his movement. Big six. Big six. And he'll go there. Initiative. Yours. Okay, um, Franklin is going to attempt an assault on the claws. Attempt. Five. Does come off. This is a plus one for type, plus one for tactical. Ratios covered. Artillery is a zero on rough terrain, I think it's going to yep. be a die roll for you. It is. Here's my die roll. On even it is used, it is used. So this is going to be a plus one assault. Here we go. Plus one. Wow. Just eking them out, baby. Four. Plus four. So on a ten, plus four is a one DR. And you had 17? So 14. One. 14. Oh, so 1FA. So, again, an exchange, but a small fatigue for you and a demoralize for me. Um, all right, and adding one for you, and that puts you at 50. Uh, okay, and they have to go one, two, three, and four. They're going to stay where they are. Initiative. It's mine. Gonna activate uh, Slocum with Franklin. Their movement. It's two. Extended march. Two. It's gonna go into Seven Pines. Sneak another guy down that road. You're gonna have to go through somebody. <laughs> Initiative. It's yours. Alright. I'm going to pass. Activate Stoneman. It's his movement. It's six. You got these clutch rolls, He's man. Go one, <laughs> two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. It's yours. Bloody Stoneman. Oh, would have gotten away with it, wouldn't that meddling Stoneman? All my plans and schemes. Okay, 4th Virginia Cavalry will go to 4. Here's the movement. Ah, ah 5. Um, 
Here's their extended march. Okay, so they would go one, two, three, four, and they will throw up. <laughs> so flanks refuse marker. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. I'll pass. Activating the 13th Pennsylvania Infantry Regiment with Porter. Movement to three. He's just going to go one, two, three. Would have put me in supply except for that 4th Virginia frickin' little regiment. I don't think I've ever heard such language from you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Initiative. Mine. Okay, now, let's see. Activate the 6th Pennsylvania. Movement. 7. Extended March. 2. Incredibly enough, he's okay. Gonna make a main move to there. Initiative. It's yours. I'll pass. Activate the 3 8 Pennsylvania. Their movement. Gonna make a min move to there. Initiative. Mine. 3 8 Pennsylvania again. Movement. 8. Gonna make a min move to there. Initiative. Yours. I'm, I'm loath to move anything until you reestablish. I'm gonna. I will pass. Okay. Okay. Let's put it this way. Keys is gonna activate couch. Here's his movement. Six. Extended march. So one. So he's okay. Couch is gonna go one. Two. What would the fourth Virginia like to do? Yeah. Four and left. Yeah. Well, they got a they got a bug out. That is unfortunate, but not unexpected. Uh, so here is their minus three or four, probably. Let's see. Can't retreat. Very small. Uh, it's minus two in onto Richmond. So yeah. here's a minus two. Uh, it's a two. So you lose one. And they'll go left. one, two, three, four. And then last two, they can go there. Three left. Glendale. I runs through Sumner, 8th PA, Keys, McCall, Stallman, the 13th PA, and then right. Savage Station, Goldberg Farm, etc., etc. Initiative. Mine with a six. I have it right now at a plus five for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. With with all the uh, supply line? With the yeah, with everybody in supply. Because I had to pull when I pulled the uh, Oh right when you McCall pulled the call back, yep. So I really can't afford to pull anybody else off the line unless I replace him with somebody. I'm gonna pass. You have do you have potential for two points at White House station, just a reminder with AP Hill. Uh, that's true. That's true, I do. Um, Alright, so 2nd Virginia will march. Um, here's their movement. Wow, big, big move. Uh, here's their extended. Okay. So they'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to there, I guess. Initiative! It's mine again. Yes, we will. Uh, we will see what we could do with the 93rd up there. So we will pull these guys off the line. Do that. Uh, here's their movement. AP Hill plus one, four. So he will transfer to Anderson. I'll go one, two, three, and four. These guys will go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Deleting their entrenchments. All right, initiative. It's mine again. AP Hill will activate all three again. And here's their movement. 
Yeah, see, there it is. Um, so Greg will go traffic jam. Let's go. You look at the map and you see all those roads, and you invariably there's always a traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can move in parallel, but you they think, move back on each other. That's right. That's the or they loop away. Nineteenth century roads. So there and there. Um, okay, initiative. Mine again. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll make our first attempt on it. J.R. Anderson to three. And here's his movement. So six. Um, here's his extended march. He's okay. So he'll go one, two, and have four left over. And you will get. Gunboat support on this one, as I recall. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so I will uh, I will subtract another two off of mine just to keep it all. So uh, five up, three down. So plus two to my roll. I, I have a fort there, by the way. Yes, I know. I've been I've been I yeah. So you've got three pieces of artillery, which would have been a minus one for the normal artillery, um, and then another minus two for your right. So I've got plus one prep, plus four tactical. Oh, tactical. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, okay, yep. It's the Bowery Boys. Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, plus two. Here's plus two. And it is a plus one. Go! Thirteen. I get a 1D, and you just get a D. So I think I got that loss. Initiative mine so you're not in supply and I narrowed that by one now so still I'm at a what plus plus four plus four now oh, now taking White House doesn't put you doesn't the top. put me on the top bummer okay um, all right um, AP Hill will activate Greg to three and here is his movement so five, uh, he will transfer to Greg, and here is the extended march. That's four, so he goes one there off the river. All right, um, initiative. It's mine again. All right, AP Hill will attempt an assault with Greg on White House Station. So here's the attempt. It comes off. So, I think the only difference here now is I get a... No, it's the same, I think. Minus one artillery, minus two for gunboat support. Yeah, I get that's so, the second gunboat support attempt, so I you get, get four. four. Four, okay. So... D. DR. And Eleven. So one D. All right, so we will advance into White House Station. All right, so initiative. It's yours with one. Well, I'll activate McCall. Movement. It's one. Kidding me. Initiative. It's yours. This game's making my head hurt. <laughs> no kidding. I'm looking at this road network trying to see yeah. another way I can be doing this. I think I just saw a better way of what I've been doing. Which... Yeah, I'm just using up all my, my forces here. Stuart's going to activate the two cavalry. Uh, here is the movement. <sighs> oh, bummer. And I've got extended marches. So, cavalry is going to be an extended march plus one. He's okay. And the other one is plus one. He's okay. He's just going to stay in place. Damn, that was wasted. Initiative. Yours. Kind of activate artillery reserve two. Their movement. Three. Just so that would be a flipping to disorganized. That would. So I've got my supply line now. 
torturous as it is, <laughs> up past Sumner, 8 PA to White Oak Bridge, make a hard left. And uh, Tartu Reserve 2, Stoneman, 13th PA, Savages Station. Yes. Yes, you do. Initiative. It's yours. You're six right now, by the way. Okay. One point away. Okay, so Winder is going to increase his fatigue. Winder? Uh, Winder? Winder? <laughs> His entrenchment. Here's his movement. It's four. He's going to go zock to zock and flip. Okay. Initiative. Yours? Uh, well, Porter is going to attempt a core assault on Mr. Winder with uh, Morell and the artillery reserve one. Here's the attempt. It's one that comes off. Uh, so this can be a type of plus one, tactical plus one, ratio of plus one. Actually, tactical is even. Is he a three? Yeah. Ah. Overrated, Mr. Winter. West Point, apparently. <laughs> um, I've got ten guns to your three. It's a swap, so it doesn't matter. So this is going to be a plus two assault. So one for assault, one for ratio, right? One right. for ratio. Yep. All right. Plus one result. On 20, 2D. On 10, D. So I just gave you the game. That was really smart, Roger. That was brilliant. <laughs> Sheer brilliance. Okay. What it is. I 52 losses. You're at 35. Uh... That is what I see, yes. And so you're now at eight points. Okay. Positive. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. I will pass. Sure you will. Why would you not? Activate McCall. Movement. One. Extended march. Two. He's okay. going to do one. And I'm going to do a force march with McCall. He's going to flip two, so he loses a manpower. And he has one. He has one remaining. What would the second Virginia like to do? Um, he's four to one. Plus one. Um, hmm. You're trying to get me to give up points. He has one left, so it'd be a hasty, right? So. Yes. So it'd be... That offset and it's four to one, so it's three. Um, I'll stand. Now, can I move or do I have to attack? Can I move? You have to attack. Turn? We have to attack right now. Yeah. Hasty, which is a minus one, plus three assault. Yep. Minus one, plus one, and then you're four to one side. So yeah, plus three. Plus three. Worst that could happen would be a minus three, which gives you points. So I'm not going to attack. I'm going to stand. Okay. Initiative. That puts it back to a positive five. All right. Yours with a five. Okay. Whiting will march. Here's his movement. It's one, so he will just enter right there. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, Whiting to two. He will go zock to zock and lose a manpower. And initiative. Line. Uh, Whiting will march a third. Oh, and he had an extended march on that last one. So let's do that. Uh, he's okay. So now he will increase to three. And here's his movement. It's a six. Here's his extended march now of plus one. He's okay. And he'll go to Golding's Farm. Initiative. It's mine again. Um, yes. Let's go increase fatigue on Whiting to four. Here's his movement. It's three. Here's his extended march plus three. 
He's going to lose a manpower. And he'll go to there. And he will throw up a flanks refused. Um, initiative. It's yours. Leo Richardson. It's just going to be a min move back to there. Initiative. It's yours. Yes, I'm going to pass. I know what I want to do, but <laughs> that it never goes so well. So I will pass. I'm going to activate Richardson. Their movement. Three. So this will be a normal attack against Whiting. Three to one. So plus two for ratio. Um, oh, and you'll get the one for the flanks removed. Yeah, so plus three, right? Three, yeah, because there's no artillery. So plus three. Plus three. And it's a plus one. Plus one result. Fifteen. That's another one D for me. D three thirty five. More importantly, initiative. Me with five. The only thing I can see to do is to move these units around and try to get a solid line. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm up for trying. Uh, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> at this point, um, you know, can we just the 18th, 13th Pennsylvania around one, two, right. three, right. storming around one, two, three, artillery reserve one, two, three, trace Pennsylvania, move it up. And I just don't feel up to just moving those little units around, so I'm happy to to pass with okay. with uh, these guys being out of supply, and uh, you would have a very nice victory on your hands. Um, then I will pass as well, and I will thank you and congratulate you for giving me quite possibly the the most tense, most fun incredible game of great campaigns I've ever had the uh, <laughs> great joy to experience. Um, this one is... <laughs> I was thinking about this while you were, while you were thinking on this last one. Um, you know, movies about chess and TV shows about chess where there's just the, you know, the, the, the finger on the pursed lips and the, the head down over the board and they're just agonizing over the six moves ahead. That's what this last turn was for me, is this <laughs> masochistic tension oh, uh, yeah. where, we, where you and I were just move, counter, move, move, counter, move. Okay, I can do this. Oh, I can counter that. And I'm exhausted mentally, but this was so incredibly fun. And I and I, this is the one that makes me realize why such high praise is is placed on on to Richmond and and perhaps even this scenario uh, it, it's just it's got so much it went through three or four different phases between us starting out with the super maneuver and and putting all the pieces into play and then it comes down to this where it's like that whole last turn was just supply chain and you, you're right there's there's that World War II market garden you know, how far do you advance? Is it is it a bridge too far? Don't know. <laughs> you know. Um, well, I, I definitely made some errors in not seeing the right way to connect up my hexes. At the same time, though, I was like, God, I, I gave you an opening and you took it. And uh, boy, I uh, my I just don't want to live through trying to move all those little guys. Oh, sure. Trying to see. If sure. The only counter I have, I think, to that would be um, I would make one final attempted devastating grand assault, you know, if Lee ever oh, comes out of his tent um, <laughs> between either Magruder or D.H. Hill to, uh, probably D.H. Hill, to see if he could bring those units and at least force Porter's divisions away um, just to knock down the four points, or the six points, rather, for being within three to four. Because the other two aren't, well, you know, they, they might go somewhere, I don't know, but uh, clearly you weren't going to move them. You weren't taking the bait on Whiting. So, um, uh, you did take I the bait on Winder, so that that yeah. kind of went 
I was I was I figured you would to see what I was going to do and if you didn't then that's he was going to do what Whiting did just cuz he was fresh. Yeah. Um uh, but uh, well, I figure here here's your counter. Up. You can sit there pass 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 when I get done you do that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um it's like and okay, now what do I do? <laughs> right. Right. Cuz um the only th- and, and I've I've had people complain about this in the past as far as there are there is some ahistorical gaminess as far as the power of the zone of control for these little units. I mean, look at Whiting. He's sitting there back in the in, in the rear, in the flank, and he's got this ability to cut off all supply. Um and would we presume that the roads are as high value and this is a great and uh, this is the kind of thing that i would love to spur a discussion on on the comments section below so please feel free to chime in on this the the power of these road networks that we see in this game are they are they overvalued would they you know would they get around the blocked zone of control by cutting a route through the woods you know when when you and i were reading sears book they did, you know, and it's like those hexes in 1828 and 1829, they brought in the, the North Woodsman Lumberjacks and they had them cut a road right through the woods. So uh, is is the supply chain part of this final, you know, turn of the scenario, is it historically accurate? Could, could these little units that are all demoralized and beat to hell get into the flanks and have the devastating effect of cutting off or does that simulate the morale of McClellan going up oh, they're behind me run away you know um it, yeah. does it model reality thinking. yeah I mean how many it seems like it's not it happens quite often even to veteran units if somebody starts shooting at them from behind the unit falls apart and they run yeah no matter how veteran the unit is on both sides you know it wasn't it's was like so I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, probably very few commanders would do what Whiting did anyway. Cause right. They'd be thinking that's dangerous. That's um, dangerous. You're going to march us over a creek through the through the, the <laughs> snake infested <laughs> swamp <laughs> to do what now? So, I mean, <laughs> but we like it on this side oh, of the river. Uh, so I don't. Uh, I mean, I, I I think it's probably a fi- if if people want to play a straight up simulation. Then the game probably wouldn't be very fun as a game That's in true. most cases. That is true. I mean, Chancellorsville would be very boring because. Well, you get the one excitement of the flank march, and then they come crashing through the woods, spoiling breakfast, yeah. <laughs> and then that's it, game yeah. over, right? Yeah, game's over. It's, so I, I, yeah, it's, it, I don't know. It'd be interesting to hear what people have to say about it because uh, I, I didn't feel like it was ahistorical, other than I didn't, you know. McClellan, and we will do this on our next scenario, is the McClellan's Retreat, which is a nice way to close out the campaign, since I believe we started with Johnson's Retreat, if I That's remember true. correctly. That's true. That is right. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, this game, this scenario had, uh, I and mean, it's amazing how different the two were. One is we went a lot longer with the second one. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, this had, uh, from start to finish, it went, you know, you had great flanking maneuvers, which I was thinking going into this that I would change the base just to see what would happen. Sure. Um, and it kind of played out where I, I felt like I needed to. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought I'd done a very smart thing with Porter. That turned out to be a disastrous move because Jackson came in. And All right. What what saved me, and you may for, have forgotten this, um, uh, I don't know how many grand assault attempts you failed. I think it had to be it was, it, four it or was five. A- it was at least I know that it was at least three, um, and maybe the four and five that did happen were just you know they they came to nothing because I didn't push anybody away. Um, but holding Porter, or at least holding that stack at that point in stalemate, uh, that I think that was the deciding factor of of the first five or six turns. Um, because it was a force to be reckoned with. Last turn, I attacked it. It failed, but I kept them from def- from building breastworks. Um, yeah. So that that was really the key element of that. That was my my whole decision for that point. Everybody else was was pretty well dug in, so I wasn't I wasn't going to push them back. Um, so, but you know, going back, my very first assault worked. Mm-hmm. You know, the oh yeah, first initiative and. <laughs> 
I punched a hole in that line. Became fixated with that because once, you know, I I'm gonna I've lost track of how many attempts I attacked that hex without breastworks. That's right. And you didn't budge. It was always within uh, one. Yeah, I think you were just one <laughs> one shy. Yeah. Just hammering away and uh, manpower losses pile. Oh, yeah. I need to open that up. So, for final accounting, we have a total of, yeah, 53 uh, U.S. losses and 35 Confederate losses. I've given myself the 10 points for the one wagon train that was eliminated, and then everything else was just kind of rolled into that. Uh, And then, obviously, uh, station information there... uh, White House Station, and um, I count I have only uh, in supply two, no, I have three in supply. Three at five and six, or? At the five and six. Yeah, uh, so looking at mine, just going right down the list, I got the five points for Hanover County, uh, 53 Union losses, 35 Confederate losses, uh, three within five and six, that's negative nine. Um, and then one wagon destroyed. All right. Incredible, incredible game. Thank you very much for this. Uh, it, it has been a pleasure experiencing the, the entirety of the seven days now in a, in a full context from start to finish. You know, we've seen the, the pieces and parts and, uh, you know, how, how much it has changed between that little kind of one-off games mill and, you know, uh, what we're going to see with, the retreat to the James next week. Uh, but as always, we, we are here. We are here to entertain you. We hope you have been in, entertained by this little scenario of ours. And uh, if, if you're new to the system, uh, we hope you will jump in, you know, and, and get to play scenarios like this that are very rich in, you know, in every capacity of maneuver and combat and, supply as we've seen and uh we would love for you to stay with us on this ride so click that subscribe button click the bell click the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and uh, more than anything give us your feedback let's hear what your thoughts are on this one if you thought it was good bad ugly whatever we like to read those comments and we will respond in kind so um roger thank you once again uh, I Thank look you. forward to game. finishing out the the uh, the module here over the next couple of weeks with uh, with the retreat to the James, and we'll see how that set piece portion of this is different than the last few turns of this one. I guess it presumes that historically the bases you know changed, and uh, I guess I have not even looked at this scenario information on it, so I, I, I will be reading that this week. Either. I had a great time. I hope you did too. I did. Enjoyed it. Okay. Hope well, people enjoy watching it. Yeah. Go, go, go take a nap. <laughs> right. I'm going to. All right. Have a great I'm weekend. Very mentally tired. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Take care, man.